Well, what's up, America? It's this old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from our secret location somewhere in America. I thought I'd do something a little different today, and I would uh, do a little video out on the river. And uh, this is a pre mo uh, on to it. And uh, I'll be out there on the river doing a commentary uh, about uh, vegans and uh, live free or die. So watch it and enjoy, and uh, well, I hope you like it. Jim Bob's out. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in the river of America. Well, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about uh, TV shows I watch. I like uh, to watch that show um, Live Free or Die on National Geographic. That's one of my favorite shows, and I watch it a lot. It's uh, about some people that go out and they live in the, on, off of the grid. And uh, a little uh, couple, a uh, fellow and his wife, young, uh, they got young fellow, they live up in North Carolina, up in the mountains. They got an acre of land, and they uh, uh, have some uh, little rabbits and chickens, and they farm and stuff like that. And uh, so uh, that's one of them. And then there's another couple, another uh, fella, his name is. Uh, Thor or something like that, and uh, he lives, uh, there went an eagle, he lives uh, up there in North Carolina too, and he, he looks kind of like Robin Hood, he's got a green suit on and stuff like that, and uh, and he makes all his own stuff, he made his little cabin and stuff all by himself, and uh, he lives out there by himself, and uh, he uh, hunts and stuff like that, he eats turkeys and uh, fish and stuff like that. And, uh, and there's another one, uh, he lives out in Arizona in the desert, and uh, he eats little rats and mouses and uh, has a lot of trouble getting water and stuff like that. And then my favorite one is Cobert. Cobert lives down in Okie Pinoki Swamps. He's lived down there 20 years, out in the woods, off the grid. And, uh, oh, uh, and he uh, built him different stuff. Houses back out there, one house burnt down. He built him another one like that. Now he's a very ingenuitive guy. I mean, he can figure out stuff. I tell you what, it's amazing to me the stuff that that man can figure out how to do, and he does it all by himself. So uh, that's the three of them there. They're called. It's called the show is called uh, Live Free or Die. And uh, I watched that show the other night. I got a Netflix, and I watched it. I got a whole series I could watch here, no commercials and everything. I mean, I like that Netflix. Anyway. Uh, so I was watching that show, and it got me to thinking about PETA and the vegetarians and the vegan peoples. And I got to thinking, I wondered if uh, a vegan could live off the grid and uh, survive without eating no meat. See, because all them people on them shows, every damn one of them eats meat and uh, of some sort or another. One fellow, like I said, eats little rats and mice. And rabbits and whatever snakes and stuff, and uh, I don't, you know, and the cobra he hunts down the deer and the hogs and uh, he the cobra he don't care what he eats all kinds of he's beavers and he's skin stuff and that's how he makes a little money I reckon. And anyway, uh, they all eat meat. So I got to thinking, I'm gonna write a letter to both uh, the vegan people. Uh, Peter, I guess I'll start with a Peter. I don't know if there's a Peter, uh, a Peter. I mean, a vegan organization or what there is, but anyways, I'm going to write them a letter and uh, challenge them to uh, get in touch with National Geographic, and I'll write National Geographic a letter to tell them the same thing, and say, look here, we want to have uh, a live free or die uh, vegan person show us how to go out in the woods and live off the land, eat nothing but vegetables and no meats whatsoever. They got to eat just the vegetables and stuff like that. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to write them a letter and see if uh, the vegan people can uh, survive without eating the meat. And uh, so that's my idea. And uh, I'm going to let you know how it turns out um, and everything. And so uh, whenever I get them all uh, letters written and all that kind of stuff, I'll get back to you and we'll see what happens. All right, that's it for now. Jim Bob's out.